Cameron is adding the numbers in the expression below. So here's the numbers they're adding. 38 plus 71 plus 52. Which is the most reasonable expression for Cameron to use to check his answer using estimation? Okay, the key word here is estimation. So 38 plus 71 plus 52. Well, if you're going to estimate each of these, right, you want to pick something reasonable. So for 38, if you think about that number, right, it's between 30 and 40. But here's the halfway point, right? That's 35. So 38 is like over here, really close to 40. So if I'm going to estimate 38, I'm going to round it up to 40. It's much closer to 40 than it is to 30. So I would cancel out A and B. Rounding 38 down to 30 would be less reasonable than rounding it up to 40. 71 is between 70 and 80, right? But if this is 75, halfway between the two, 71 is really close, right, to 70. So I'm going to round it down to 70, because that makes more sense to me. And here, there are two choices left. Rounding 70 up to 80, as choice D says, doesn't make sense. It's just much closer to 70. Why would you round it all the way up to 80? And um, so I would then cross out D, and we've got our answer. But I always like to make sure if I have a time. And this makes sense. They rounded the last number to 50. And that makes sense because 52, right, is between 50 and 60, but it's much closer to 50. So I'd round it down to 50. And that's how I'd solve this problem if I was estimating. And for fun, let's just add this up. 70 and 40, I think of 7 and 4. Same kind of thing, but 10 times bigger. 7 plus 4 is 11, but this is going to be 110 plus 50 is 160. So you can try that one out, add them up, see if you get 160 for practice. Thanks.